had a completely different plan for a video about Taylor Swift that was supposed to go up today, but then something else happened that is far more important. This week, AI-generated images of Taylor Swift were all over the internet, and specifically on Twitter. And these were not just the usual AI-generated images that you see online of public figures like the Pope wearing a puffer jacket or of Taylor herself working as a waitress. These were explicit images of an AI-generated Taylor Swift engaging in very specific acts with people. And I'm sure all of you can gather what exactly I'm talking about here. There was a lot of these, by the way. I kept seeing them on my feed and it's, it's there's no other word for it besides that, even though I'll have to censor that word out, sorry. And I just wonder, why are we making of real people who did not consent to have that happen? Who did not consent to being involved in this? Now, I want to let you guys in on something. For those of you who are new, you won't know this at all. And for people who have been around on this channel for a while, you might know about this. I might have talked about it before. But I have been very, very interested in AI for quite a while, way before the big AI boom. Just in general, I'm really interested in technology. And I think this is a really interesting area. And it has a lot of potential to do a lot of good in the world, as well as a lot of not bad. <laughs> The problem is that we are the human race and the human race is full of filth and terribleness going on. And whenever you create any kind of new technology, there is a certain branch of the human race whose first instinct is going to be, how can I use this to create the growth in AI technology, especially in things like ChatGPT and in AI-generated images, has happened really, really fast. And this, to nobody's surprise, has come with a ton of problems. Firstly, there is no legislation about this kind of technology and how it can be used and how to make it safer and more moral. Mostly because there hasn't been enough time for this legislation to be brought in given how fast this technology has progressed. And also because a lot of the people who have the power to make these legislations do not understand technology, which we have seen a lot in recent years. I mean, remember when we had the questioning of Mark Zuckerberg and also of the CEO of TikTok and the people there were asking the most ridiculous questions you can imagine. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Are you dumb? These are the people who have some kind of power to bring in legislation about AI. So you can see why I'm not really very optimistic about this happening. Right now, there is no law that prevents people from generating AI images of Taylor Swift or any other celebrities in these kinds of compromising positions, creating pictures of them that they don't want online and then spreading them wherever they'd like. There is no way for people to be protected like this. There is nothing that protects people from this because it's completely legal. The only thing that's somewhat stopping the spread is X or Twitter reacting to this. These posts of Taylor Swift were pretty much trending on Twitter. Millions of people saw them, thousands of people were sharing them, and then Twitter swooped in to try and put a stop to it. And that is definitely a good thing because social media sites do have a responsibility to stop this kind of behavior. But you have to remember that social media sites alone are not gonna be what stops this. Which I'm bringing this up and I think it's important because when I'm looking at this conversation, I'm seeing a lot of people talk about how it's the responsibility of Twitter, of social media to stop the share of these images. But are we forgetting the fact that there's websites being used where people are generating these images in the first place? And if they really want to generate them, they can. And if they want to share them online, but Twitter won't let them, then that's fine. They can share them on other social media sites that are more lax with their rules, or they can share them in public WhatsApp groups or kick groups or in forums or anywhere else. There's a million places online before this spreads. I mean, we need to remember that there was a time on the internet before we had social media and stuff was still getting shared around. You can't control every single website. And because there's no legislation, there's nothing really stopping somebody from generating a ton of these images of celebrities, making their own website and just sharing them there. Before I move on with the rest of the video though, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Delete Me. 
Did you know that your personal data is being sold online by data brokers? These data brokers are corporations that gather and analyze massive amounts of personal information. From sources like government and other public records, self-reported information, social media, and other data brokers. Then they package and sell this data all without your consent. Not only is this a huge invasion of your privacy, but it can be potentially dangerous too. Having your personal information sold by data brokers can put you at risk of being harassed for your publicly expressed opinions, can put you at risk of stalking, or could put you at risk of being a victim of identity theft or phishing scams. In fact, in the United States alone, there is an identity theft case every 22 seconds, and that number is predicted to rise in 2024. But there are ways that you can protect your personal information. And that's where Delete Me comes in. Delete Me is a hands-free subscription service that will remove your information that's being sold online. Their experts will find and remove your personal information and you'll even receive a detailed Delete Me report. Plus they will continue to regularly search for and delete your personal information all year. They can remove information like your name, your age, your email address, your home address, your phone number, your occupation, photos of you, and even information about your relatives. I truly would recommend this service. Delete Me can be invaluable in helping you protect yourself online from identity theft and other dangers that can come from having your personal information being bought and sold. You have the right to stay private and protect your personal data. And right now you can get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com forward slash scov20 and use the promo code scov20 at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com forward slash scov20 code scov20 and that link will be in the description for you to check out as well. Again, I really would recommend this service, so thank you to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the rest of it. Before I move any further with this kind of conversation, we need to talk about the morality of it because although to most of you it's going to be obvious why this is an issue, why it's an issue to share these kinds of generated images of Taylor Swift, of other celebrities or other real people, for some of you it's not going to be that obvious because the conclusion is well, nobody's actually getting hurt. It's not like these people are being attacked and forced into doing these things. They're just images. It's not real. There are a couple of reasons why this argument just doesn't hold up. Firstly, this is a form of harassment. Taylor Swift did not consent to photos of her being depicted naked, doing things with other people, being shared around, and for her to be viewed in those pictures and viewed as an object. In no way did she say that that was okay. It's demeaning, and for some people it can even be terrifying. And this kind of technology is being used to harass people. Even if you can't for some reason see celebrities like Taylor Swift as real people, which if you can't, maybe get it together slightly, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat that for you, like you need to actually check your head a little bit and remember that they're people. Just because they have a lot of cameras on them and they have a lot of money doesn't mean that they're not people and don't have feelings and can't be harassed or bullied. But now in real time, we have people like Mia Janin. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. I have tried to find people saying her name, but I can't, so I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. There were a group of boys who were bullying her and one of the things that they did a lot to bully her was take pictures of her face and put it on images of adult stars. There was a whole group chat made to share these images that they made of her with more than 60 boys in it from not only her school, but other schools as well. And it wasn't just her, it was other girls that they were doing this for. And Mia is now no longer with us. She ended things herself, and the reason I'm not using the correct word here is because it will be flagged by YouTube, but she ended things herself at age 14 because of this bullying that she was receiving. And I don't think that this is going to be the first time we hear about something like this. It's so easy now to create images like this of people. It is already being used to harass people, both everyday people and celebrities. And if you remember like last year, there was a situation I talked about where deep fake videos were being made of Cutie Cinderella and other streamers. And that was a huge issue at the time and really affected those female streamers, but that was a year ago and the technology has progressed even more. And still, 
Nobody is trying to bring in any kind of safeguarding to stop this. There's a book about AI that I read years ago, again, before the boom. I would still recommend you read it. It's called Life 3.0. And one of the biggest things that's talked about in this book is the fact that we as human beings always react to things. We never proactively prevent the worst case scenarios. And we are currently seeing that in real time. Instead of the groups who are creating this technology and the websites who are using it, proactively looking into all of the things they need to safeguard against, all of the ways that they need to make sure that this technology is being used ethically, morally, safely. Instead of them doing that, maybe writing out a full detailed report of this is all of the ways that this technology could be used wrongly, going to legislators and saying, maybe you can give us a hand with preventing this. They wait for the bad thing to happen and they react. And now the reaction is happening in real time because somebody as big and as popular as Taylor Swift is having this technology used against her. It's gotten a conversation starting, which I guess is a good thing, but it would have been a better thing if this just hadn't happened in the first place. But again, the problem is that this is being pushed onto social media sites instead of the websites who are generating these images. There are certain sites where if you go on and you try and generate images of celebrities, it just will not do it. It says, nope, not doing that. That is not okay. But that's a choice that those websites made. Not every website is going to make that. I mean, I googled now, there's a website that advertises itself as create AI images of celebrities. You see the problem? Especially considering, like I already said, this technology is progressing so much and so quickly. These images are getting more and more lifelike and more and more realistic. There needs to be rules in place about creating AI images of real people because it can damage them mentally. It can be dangerous for them. And again, I know a lot of people who are gonna watch this video can't for some reason see celebrities as real people, but can you try for a moment to humanize Taylor Swift in your brain and understand that she's seeing images of her like this go viral on Twitter and she can't do anything about it? Do you know how horrific that must feel for her? Now, it's alleged that Taylor Swift and her team are considering taking legal action against this. Although I will say this is taken from the Daily Mail and I don't trust a single thing that the Daily Mail ever says. This might not actually be a real statement that's been made. However, I wouldn't doubt that Taylor Swift and her team might be considering their legal options, even if they've not made a statement about it. A source close to Swift said on Thursday, whether or not legal action will be taken is being decided. But there's one thing that is clear. These fake AI generated images are offensive, exploitative, and done without Taylor's consent and or knowledge. The Twitter account that posted them does not exist anymore. It is shocking that the social media platform even let them be up to begin with. These images must be removed from everywhere they exist and should not be promoted by anyone. Which side note, when the New York Times posted their own article about this scandal and the image used as the thumbnail for that article, they used the image, the one of the main images that was being circulated of Taylor Swift. How absolutely like lobotomized do you need to be to do that? Like, did, was there no, did nobody, did nobody think that was a bad idea. Taylor's circle of family and friends are furious, as are her fans, obviously. They have the right to be, and every woman should be. So should every man, just, just everybody should be annoyed by this, just saying. The door needs to be shut on this. Legislation needs to be passed to prevent this, and laws must be enacted. Despite the outrage, though, people are still posting these images on Twitter, and they're still sharing links to the images. I don't know if the goal is just to troll, if it's just because they hate women, or if it's just because they want a little bit of attention on social media and they want some likes and engagement. It could be any of those things. It could be all three of these things, but regardless, they're trash human beings. That is just the end of it. And for those people, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, right? You ready for this one? You don't actually need to post images of people without their consent. There are images online of people who have posted them by themselves with their own full consent and knowledge and understanding. Although maybe that's not fun for you because you only like it when you have power over the person. But aren't you embarrassed that this is what you have to resort to?
because no real woman actually wants you. Trust me though, if you fix your whole personality, you might find somebody someday. The ways that this technology is being used is not only gross, it's actually quite scary. It's being used against real women like Taylor Swift, like other celebrities, and like everyday people who aren't even in the public eye. People like Mia are going to take drastic actions because of being harassed with images like this. It's going to be used to torment and humiliate people. As well as something really horrific that I won't get into too much because it's just too scary and too real because it's almost definitely already being used like this, but PDF files can use this technology to make images of children, of real children. So please do not post pictures of your children online because it could be used for something like that. And I know it's not that likely, but it is possible. Which brings me to the question of what can you do about this? Well, admittedly not much, because presumably you're not a person with the power to bring in these kind of legislations, but what you can do is talk about it. AI in and of itself is not the problem. The problem is, again, like I already said, that we're reacting to issues instead of proactively fixing them. Legislation needs to be brought in to stop things like this. The technology is only going to continue to grow and we need to step back and think, how can this technology be used for evil? And once we figure that out, we need to then figure out how to stop that happening before it happens. The other thing that you can do is if you see images like this of people who have been posted without their consent, report them, report them immediately. Don't share them, don't engage with them, just report them. Even if you are sharing it to say, how dare you post something like this, you're still spreading that image and helping that person get more engagement. So just report. And the other thing is, unfortunately, now you need to question absolutely everything that you see. Fake images have always been around, but it's getting easier and more accessible to make them. Any audio, any image, any video, anything that you see online, you need to question it. It's getting easier than ever to make fake videos, images, audios of anybody, especially celebrities. So do not just take things at face value. And if you are unfortunate enough to be in a situation where you are being harassed with this kind of technology, well then firstly, I'm so sorry. Then secondly, please try and raise this issue with the legal authorities. Although there's no specific legislation for this, there are other laws that these people could be breaking and I'm not here able to tell you any of those because I'm not a lawyer, I can't give you legal advice, but please try and seek help. Do not just suffer silently and hope that it goes away. All I can say is now that they have attacked somebody so public and so huge and so popular that maybe this will finally prompt people to do something about this, to bring in this legislation. I wish that it hadn't happened at all, but it has happened. So hopefully something good can come out of such a terrible situation. And just before I go though, there's something I wanna actually ask of you guys. And I know this is kind of a weird thing to do at this point of the video, but I had planned to ask in the original video that I was gonna make about Taylor Swift, which I will make at some point. It's just not right now. I'm at a point of my channel where I am not making exactly the same type of content that I was making maybe a year or two years ago. Similar topics, obviously, but I would like to try and focus on making bigger videos, longer videos, more in-depth videos, and just focusing on making the best videos I possibly can without having to worry about the quantity. Unfortunately though, I do have to worry about quantity because this is my job. This is the thing that pays my bills, but I'd like to be able to make more in-depth videos about AI for you guys, about the dangers of it. In-depth videos about specific things about Taylor Swift. Four hour videos about Mama Max because I'm currently doing a lot of research for a video about Mama Max. I'm actually worried that it's gonna be four hours and I don't know how I'm gonna get that video edited and out. I have no idea. Just bigger, more in-depth videos. So if you'd like to support me in doing that, and I feel really weird asking, but if you would like to support me, then consider checking out the Patreon. There are different tiers with different benefits and you can even get exclusive Patreon only merch on there. So I do think it's worthwhile. And the main thing is that it supports me and it supports the channel. And if I get enough patrons, I'll be able to make more in depth and more 
giant videos. I couldn't think of another word, but you get what I'm trying to say. No problem if you can't do that. I mean, watching the videos alone is amazing. So don't feel pressured, but if you can and you want to, I'd really appreciate it. That is all I wanted to talk about today though. So leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about all of this. And if you don't want to leave a comment about that because it was quite heavy, then leave me a comment and let me know, do you like Taylor Swift? If you like Taylor Swift, then what's your favorite song? My favorite song is Maroon. I just think that's a fantastic song. It's really, really good. Everything about it is amazing. <laughs> so also in general, Midnight's is just a fantastic album. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I will make that video about Taylor Swift soon. And I actually had a lot of ideas about Taylor Swift videos because it's all I see on Twitter all the time is Taylor Swift. So I have a lot of knowledge in my brain as well as other videos, regular content, Mama Max stuff all of that coming soon. So subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, follow me on social media. I'm Vangelina Scoff everywhere and do all the things that I'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of a video, including remembering to check out Delete Me. Remember to go to joindeleteme.com forward slash scoff20 and use the code scoff20 at checkout to get 20% off your Delete Me plan so that you can help protect your personal information online. Thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video and thank you for watching this video. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!